Welcome to the Adventures of Dusty. I'm about a, uh, give or take about a mile in my swamp here. This is a uh, cypress palmetto swamp. And I've really been looking for anything but expecting to see water moccasins, but I know that uh, it's likely that there's some rattlesnakes back here. I got a little wrapped up walking around, meandering. I was on my way back. It's starting to get dark out, raining a little bit. Frankly, I'm getting a little bit hungry, but I got caught up in this uh, palmetto swamp or palmetto uh, brush here. It's really a pain to walk through, but the biggest problem is you don't know where you're walking. I try to walk in the water because that way I can see where I'm going and I can see what's around me and I can avoid any snakes and anything like that. But uh, the problem with going through the palmetto like this is I don't know what's down below. Plus, I'm hungry. It's getting dark. Frankly, I'm just ready to get out of here because it's been a boring day. I haven't found anything at all. So, I was walking. Luckily, I slowed down. I've got my snake stick that I carry along with me. And as I was going through my path, I looked down and I found these guys. This is exactly where I was about to step. Now, if you look closely, it's hard to see because of the patterns. But what it is is... It's a pair of mating pygmy rattlesnakes. So there's one head right there. There's another head right there. So I don't know if I can do this filming at the same time, but and bless our heart, I hate to break them up. But let's see what happens here if we... All right, they're already separated. So let's see if we can get a hold of them here. And as I'm doing this, I'm also being bit by mosquitoes. Definitely a swamp environment. This is, um, it's not a good place to get stuck in. I'm, I'm pretty deep into the woods. And um, certainly not a place that you'd want to get bit by a snake. But that wouldn't be very fun, would it? So, we've got them right here. And the problem with these snakes is they're so small so it's hard to get a good grip on them but there we can get a good look at it and his little tiny rattle right there that's a little rattlesnake and like I said these guys were exactly where I was getting ready to step no picture of us together sorry I've been in the swamp a while you can see he's uh, trying to rattle his rattle a little bit but what makes these things dangerous and they're so little you don't see them they've got that camouflage plus their rattle just isn't big enough if this was an eastern diamondback the uh, the largest poisonous snake that we have in the country i'd most likely hear them rattle and if they knew i was coming they're going to let that rattle go and um and i won't sneak up on them these guys they can rattle all day long and i'm never going to hear it but I don't want to uh, disturb him any more than I have to, so I'm going to put him down. And uh, as you can see, most people think that snakes are horrendously vicious creatures. I just put him down, and he doesn't want to have anything to do with me. He's not striking at me. And uh, see, as we go, he just disappears into that little brush right there. I'm going to try to keep him out of my path because i got to walk that way. And now uh, we're going to wish him luck in. And apologize to him for breaking up his night. So uh, thanks for joining me on the Adventures of Dusty.